All right, welcome to the Caterpillar hand transfer pump. So this hand transfer pump, you have to unscrew, lefty loosey, righty tighty, and you pull it back, and then you can push it forward. And so you'll push it forward, and this one's already got fuel in there. You'll push it forward, and you can actually hear, if I be quiet a second, you'll hear the valves in the base of the hand transfer pump, creating the draw, and then pushing it out through the filter and then it pushes out of the filter in to this rail that's right here and that's actually pushing it into the gallery in the head to make it available to the mechanical operated electronic unit injectors. So you can hear the click. The challenge with these hand transfer pumps is they have a small o-ring at the end of the plunger right here and that is really prone to leaking. It's a common thing to have them leak uh, so it's a really common thing to just remove these bolts and replace the whole unit and changing the gasket behind it. But another thing is even if you are, if it is in good condition, if it's not leaking too much, then the key here is after you're done pumping it to seal it back off. And the reason why we need to seal it back off like this is to prevent any air from getting past that seal and getting into our fuel system which will cause air into our system, which will cause poor combustion because of poor injection pressures.